Hi, uh, I'm watching this stuff on here about uh, uh, Netanyahu and and uh, Donald Trump. I'm doing another playlist, um, but um, I wanted to talk about that because I had made statements like 10 years ago that the Jews were the spoiled brats um, and um, that being respectful to the Jewish religion and speaking the truth of the Christian religion. Um, but what I wanted to point out specifically is that Hamas is something that we made up. We made that up in the United States. We made that up uh, in the 90s, I think it was, 1990s. Um, and uh, what's happening here is Israel is attacking Palestine um, and it's killing. I mean, if this were in ancient biblical times, it would be called a slaughter. It would be a slaughter. Um, and um, Hamas, or Hamas, whenever you're in politics, you just grab anything you can uh, in order to uh, assume power, right? Okay, so that's something that we made up. He's attacking, or Israel is attacking Palestine, destroying buildings, uh, which is something I said a couple months ago about the Ukraine. Um, and I said uh, that uh, the Ukraine needed to evacuate uh, cities and then the Russians would blow up the buildings and then they could get a head start on their uh, building um, flying cities. And that's what I told them. And that was uh, the Soviet Union's uh, countries that are fighting each other. See, but this is Israel. Okay. And what is um, happening here with Joe Biden and I don't want to share anybody's feelings or thoughts. And I don't know anything about the Bronx anymore, about how to spell the Bronx and talk about Wall Street shares. Um, but um, what's happening here with Joe Biden is that I perceive, I know Joe Biden, and he'll play any... Uh, current event that he can in order to win. The guy is determined winner. That's what that guy is. He's a determined winner. And he always, he's, everybody knows him and he loses. But he's determined to win, see? And um, what's happening here in Palestine um, is definitely a wrong thing. Um, and it appears that it's becoming a United States political football as the United States would rather kill foreigners than kill Americans, right? <laughs> uh, it's just not good in their press. And I'm an American saying it's not good in their press and I'm putting it out to you, okay? So, just to be clear. Um, and the memory of the way we felt or thought about government in this country specifically around 2019, uh, 2018, it, it is always a good thing when you are in politics to remember how to remember your thoughts and feelings 
uh, in a place that you can secure and make sure you know how you felt for the last, ever since you got involved in politics. You have to remember how you felt, what you thought, your positions. You have to remember them. And you can't let anything get involved in those feelings and thoughts and positions without documenting them and making sure that you know where you stood. And there are periods where you don't have a choice uh, as to what you're doing or why you're doing it. But if you take everything that you should into consideration later on, then you can look back and see what's happened and how it's happened. And that's how I found Joe Biden like 30 years ago. Okay. Joe Biden is a real manipulator. He's an uncaring individual. He's seriously out to win. And this um, situation here is out of hand. It's completely out of hand here. And it's being used in the U.S. politics. And when you're in another country, you don't pay any attention to what's going on in the other countries. You don't pay attention to their news. You don't pay attention to what their president's doing. You're too busy doing what you're doing and watching your back and watching everybody that's involved with your politics, not somebody else's. And so this is what happens all over the world. And um, I just wanted to say that I think that this is a terrible, terrible thing that's happening here. And I have the opportunity, I, I believe I have the opportunity to say something anywhere in the world that I want to, and somebody's going to listen. And uh, when you have a uh, quality like that, uh, there's only so many ways that quality can be attacked. There's only so many ways that that quality can be uh, downplayed and run into the ground, ignored, criticized. And um, that's an antisocial thing. It's a uh, uh, anti... It's... Um, it's a, uh, I, I, I have the word on the tip of my tongue, but I, it's, it's anti-social behavior. It's, it's, a, it's a sickness, a sickness. Um, and uh, I had said something about that, about Joe Biden a couple years ago, about his mental illness. Um, and, uh, but... But that, that's not what I wanted to point out. What I wanted to say was that I have an opportunity to say something and I'm preoccupied with something next door that I can't understand. And it's not only that, but it's, it's everybody involved in Joe Biden's home state and anybody else that might want to get involved. You can use the word Ohio or that's the most fitting thing. And I maybe throw in a pretender song in there. Um, but um, that's what I wanted to point out. Um, and I wanted to make it as clear as I could because I'm not paying attention to any of this news. I don't know which news uh, network to trust. Um, I don't know uh, why people are uh, doing whatever they're doing there at the United Nations when I, uh, they don't even pay attention to their UN delegates. 
Um, and uh, the United Nations is in the United States where the president is the most distrusted um, and uh, most distrusted dictator in the country. So um, I wanted to point that out and I'm going to put this in the playlist and uh, that's what I wanted to do.